Hello and welcome everyone. How are you today? Well, today is Sunday, the 23rd, the eve before Christmas Eve. Isn't that crazy? 2018. <laughs> I'm, I'm just making sure we're putting it out there for 2019 now, right? I think 2019 is, you know, 2018 was sort of an odd year in a way, you know, and, but I think um, 2019 for many of us is going to be a new year of new beginnings, but definitely awakenings that you're aware that there's a higher realm that we need to tap and, and look forward to working with that realm um, every day morning noon and night of your life because they have a lot to share with us and it's time for us to you know, understand that um, we're, not, we're not here forever in this body but our soul continues on and that's why we tap spiritual prowess to understand that our soul continues on and continues on and continues on. Okay, well, I have already selected the meditation for today as I usually do, but I think I'm going to open with the meditation, okay? And this book, The Angels Within Us, as I've shared, if you watch these, this series of Angels Bring Loving Miracles, um, uh, works with the tarot deck, okay? Works with the tarot from the fool to 21 the world and that's what I wanted to use which we haven't read this meditation from the world card because I've tried to gone in a kind of a format but today I figure towards the end of this year now um, let's see what the world has to offer because we've had and 2019 is a code number three we've talked about that 2 plus 0, 2 plus 1 is 3, plus 9 is 12, 1 plus 2 is 3. And the Empress Venus has been coming on my table for a couple years now. And, um, you know, she just arrived in the last video I made. So it, it's just time to think about the bounty, the Earth Mother. Uh, think whether male or female, if you think like the Empress. You rule and have mastered yourself and you rule many kingdoms to help those kings and queens themselves and the people that are there um, who tend to the fields, who help us move forward in life, that we need to give back to Mother Nature. You have to look up to the Luna. And planet Venus has been in the morning sky now for a while. So, you know, her transit, I think, is 265 days. So, um, sometimes we'll see her in the morning, and then we'll see her at night. So, just follow her. It's Empress, and for those of you into astrology, more power to you, okay? You're just, you're ahead of the game. Um, but it's still, the feminine principle is here, and the male active is all that we can really keep that balance going, okay? But like I mentioned, I went. Uh, I've chosen to go to the world meditation and um, this is about the angels within us and let me just make sure that um, okay because this is um, like I mentioned this has to deal with the um, the world and the world here the angels within us so we go to the world of the trump card 21 and it's known as success okay and the archetype is Kronos and Saturn and um, planetary energies to harness is Saturn but the world the final the final um, say that we have here let me make sure okay so I thought I'd already set it all up here here we go okay here we go Okay, so 21, success. Oh, well, they they say 22, that's what's throwing me off. So 
so it's 22 in the book. Here we go. I had folded it already. But it's Major Arcana card, 21, but they call it 22 because of the zero card, the angel of success, okay? Webster defines success as a favorable or satisfactory outcome or result, fulfillment, attainment, achievement, okay? So a favorable or satisfactory outcome or result, fulfillment, attainment, achievement. Emerson wrote, if you can write a better book, preach a better sermon, or make a better mousetrap than your neighbor, though you build your house in the woods, the world will make a beaten path to your door, okay? And angel, excuse me, ageless wisdom tells us that success is the natural order that we are here in physical form to attain mastery over the manifest world, to triumph over everything, and consider the opposite of success, which, you know, we keep the balance, right? Which is the failure, lack, limitation, downfall, conflict, hostility, and um, anything that can bring it back down, okay? But if all the above is true, why are the writings of religionists and philosophers sprinkled with warnings about success, question mark? Why do they say that it throws a veil over evil deeds, that success is full of promises until you get it, and that is and that it will cause our pride to betray us and make us admired or as fools, question mark. But see, that's that's when you don't have to worry about that when you're doing everything that comes from your heart, body, mind, and soul, okay? If you, and even if you make coin and you prosper, but you've done it with coming from your soul, and I'll just give example, you know, Oprah Winfrey, she even has her Sunday sessions, you know, that we talk to the soul there, and so, and she's, I think, a billionaire now, or, you know, she's made her success. And, um, but it comes from her heart. And if it comes from your heart and your soul and you put your attention to it and put your mind and body and efforts to bring about good for the whole, the whole, okay, um, the whole world, we can say, that everybody relates to it in a positive, cognizant way. The dark forces can do nothing because remember the devil rules karma and that has to deal with monetary issues so sometimes people say all oh, these you know rich people and it's true a lot of rich people are egomaniacs and things like that but when you're coming from your soul it that's not coming from your ego okay that comes from your heart and that's why we want to work on and stay working with all that okay so the meditation with success Okay, and here it is, the Angel of Success Meditation, okay. There is only one self, one capital O, capital L self, throughout the infinite reaches of the universe, the selfhood of God, and I am an invisible part of that whole. The I am that I am, and when this book says I am, it, it's all in capital letters, okay. The I am that I am is God knowing itself as God. It is God knowing itself as individual being. It is my individual being knowing itself as I am. Okay, I am the willpower of God to individualize. So all in capital letters. All that the universal presence of God is mine. For God and the expressions of God cannot be separated. They are forever one, and therefore I live in the eternal now with the infinite all, and nothing is missing in my life. I am the power of God to have. Okay, and remember we're shutting down 2018. We're coming to the birth of um, baby Jesus. I brought my baby Jesus here. Here's Father Joseph holding baby. We have Mother Mary here, and this is Mother Mary of Clearwater where I would go there. And pray all the time when that image appeared on a bank building okay so and of course Jesus here as you know Jesus is the man Christ is the Lord okay there is only one mind the mind of God and no other mind exists God's mind is the mind of my holy self and my thoughts possess the authority of the master mind I am I think with the mind of Christ 
okay and here we have we're coming forward to you know supposedly we celebrate Jesus's birth on the 25th when exactly he came to this earth I don't think anybody really knows but there is only one life ever leaping forward in spirals of new joy beauty and experiences that life is God's life God's life is my life pure perfect and whole I am my divine sensitivity I feel the rhythm of divine life pulsating through me I am the fiery strength of God the living force of vitality that goes forth with divine intention and authority my creativity is love in action and everything that I do is victorious my divine power is the thought that I will in capital letters I will and every door swings open before that power okay so we're, we're talking about you know working through the laws of nature and um, working through God for source okay and of course we're embracing the spirit of our Jesus Christ here as the man baby Jesus as the boy and um, and just know that God brought this organic being to us to help us find peace on earth okay that's I think the main um, message that Jesus brought to to have love and find that peace and balance okay I'm enjoying the fullness of unlimited success for I am in my true place doing what I love and loving what I do for the good of all and that's the theme okay we don't we're not just being selfish from the ego to gain success we're doing whatever we can to embrace the good of all I am the spirit of accomplishment the force of achievement and every activity of my life now reflects the ideals of victory beauty harmony and abundance for that is what I believe and I have seen my destiny and what I see I know now I ask you to imagine that you are standing behind a door and on the other side of the door is the divine conference room of your consciousness in the center of the room is a large round table and seated at the table are all the angels of the kingdom the radiant rays of the Sun self the living energies of the master mind within your casual powers they have taken recognizable form and have assembled in preparation for the first council of 22 okay so this is kind of cool they have taken recognizable form and have assembled in preparation for the first council of 22 and 22 is what we're talking about the angel of success with you presiding okay so we've got and that's what the tarot metaphysically is all about you start as the fool well they call it the fool card traditionally but I prefer the word the phrase spiritual initiate so you start with the zero and you're on your journey to meet many other personas egos trials tribulations and success which is what the world is you come to the end and you've accomplished your journey you've met many personas you know that there is a rhythm with nature and with the higher forces and the angelic realm okay and this is what we want to capture for 2019 and what we're going to purposely think like that Empress Venus that speaks of beauty and bounty but also you know she's fierce and fearless okay as spiritual warriors fierce and fearless so this is what we want to embrace and attempt to really bring forward for ourselves and for our families and for people in this world to help heal this world okay okay so now we're in preparation to for the first council of 22 with you presiding as you open the door you are greeted with a standing ovation and as you walk around the table you are given a long embrace by each one by each angel sitting at this council of 22 because remember this is the angels within us okay this is what we can accomplish and this is what tarot does it just makes you awaken to metaphysics earth air fire water spirit okay father god four source angelic realms and just know you know that the devil is always in the details but when you're when you find the success with this god-given soul self 
uh, you know, the demons look for those <laughs> that are more egomaniac kind of, you know, that have no, their soul is just to make money. It's a whole different vibe. And you know what, the, what I'm talking about. Okay, last sentence. So these angels are giving you a loving embrace. And there is much joy and gladness for you have finally come home and the angels are singing. Isn't that beautiful? There is much joy and gladness for you have finally come home and the angels are singing. That's lovely. And it is a journey we go on, okay? Never forget that. It is a journey. Hold that up. And um, it is a journey within us. For our soul, you know, we came on this planet, and remember, your birthday is a code for you, and also your birthplace, geographically, where you were born. Those are the two main codes for yourself, okay? And, uh, you know, for some of you, you could have a heritage that you're, uh, you know, African, but you were born in Argentina or something, you know? It's like, you got to understand why, where, what did your soul... Um, be born in Argentina okay that's that's things we need to find but your birth code especially okay well let's pick one of each of these cards here and see what the table is talking about but I wanted to pick that meditation about the world to say that here we are shutting down 2018 and it's, it is our journey our soul journey and we have the angels who help us bring these loving miracles okay they're with us at all times and, um, you know, just continue on your journey. Never give up on you. Um, if you are especially awakening to the realm of natural beauty or the invisible intelligence, and, and your, even your own family are kind of like cutting you down, just you go within, you know, your journey is not their journey, and their journey is not your journey, okay? So, and, and we can't, you have to just do it on your own. It really is, you know, but it doesn't have to be a lonely journey, but it has to be a journey you do alone, okay, alone. That one just popped in my hand, okay? So, that's how you have to look at it. This is your journey, your birthright, your soul, soul's journey, okay? And align with the beautiful ones like we call it here on this channel. Okay. The angels. All these ascended masters who've lived before us. Okay. Who've lived before us on this earth. And you see what they did to him. But, you know, with crucifying. Because the love is so powerful. And when you're full of hate, you, you just can't relate. And you just go on on your mission your journey okay never give up on you and especially if you're going into meditative moments and time you'll put this one with the baby jesus yeah and um just don't give up on your beauty and don't let others cut you down especially family members you know just don't take it out on them just walk away you know give them a hug and a kiss and walk away <laughs> Well, my journey isn't yours. You know, whatever. It'll come. The words just start coming through. Because you're working with the white light, bright light. Remember, the white light, bright light is protection, okay, from the dark forces or the negative ones or when people just want to cut you down because, oh, what, you believe in angels or you, what, you know, or you believe in Jesus. You know, there's a lot of people who are like atheists out there. They don't believe in anything. God bless their souls. I still haven't figured out where they end up. <laughs> oh boy, we had a slider. Ah, oh, let's just set it down here like this and see what happens. Okay, where am I right now? Okay, we're going on 20. Okay, that's not too bad. Okay. All righty, let's just do another card. And that we've read the meditation, so. And, and. This is a beautiful year to exit and think that you, you've passed the journey tests, okay? You're, you're sitting at the council with the angels and the beautiful ones, okay? And they're giving you the okay to go and develop and 
I don't want to use the word preach, but, you know, share, share your wisdom of higher intelligence, of the invisible intelligence, okay? And, uh, and go forward and, and make it positive for yourself. And, of course, uh, for those of you with your own children, you know, raise them to, to, to believe in themselves and to believe in, you know, their codes as well. Um, it's all about, it's about having this soul self develop to teach others so that we can heal this planet. It's not about just taking from the planet and, and, you know, abusing resources. And it's about helping heal. All right. And the animals and nature and, you know, plant some trees if you can. <laughs> I'm a tree hugger, so I believe. All right, my darlings. Let's see what the angels have to say. And this is the angels of gods and goddess. Okay. I don't think this card has come through yet. This is the angels of gods and goddesses. This is the goddess of a psychic protection. What you believe you create, no one can harm you. That's fabulous. You know what, I'm going to pick all the cards first and then we'll come back. Because I'm just curious what, because this is powerful right here. The goddess of psychic protection. You see, we were just saying that you'll be protected, okay, when you work with the beautiful ones. Okay, they're protecting us. So don't, don't ever go into the ego. See, she's working with her brow chakra and her eyes are also got like fire flames. Like she, she knows what you believe you create. No one can harm you. Okay. And that's, that's why you stand strong. Okay. And when you stand and you have a belief system with these energies here, they also will protect us. And, and I totally believe, I talk about John Lennon a lot because he was a man who just was so gifted in music, which is a universal tone to many, but that he was just heading into his apartment complex and that crazy. But I totally believe that he was in no pain, that the angels just went and got him straight to heaven. I believe in that. Okay. No one can harm him. Even, even though his, his body was gunned down, his soul was protected, okay, because he was a beautiful soul, that's why, okay, and I believe that in Princess Diana as well, nobody could kill her, the internal light of love, well, this is new too, oh, I'm enjoying this, lovely, look at this, the eternal light of love, and look at all the zodiac signs, and we have an angel with the sword of truth, Kind of like Archangel Michael energy. And then we have the spirit of another vibration looking up to the heavens. This is delicious right here. This is like, you know, the zodiac signs are all here if you can see. Okay. Sometimes I say, people say, if it gets too close, I can't see. But you can think that like this is the world here. With all the metaphysics of knowledge and identity of your soul, your birth code. Okay. But here we are still tapping. And here we have the psychic awareness. You see where the light is beaming from his brow chakra. And you have the angel here with protection as well. Okay, see the sword of truth right there. Given the protection back to back. This is wonderful what I'm holding in my hand. The eternal light of love. Okay, let's keep moving. All right, this is wonderful. I like when new cards come through. This is new too. <laughs> wow. Transformation. Archangel Zadkiel. Thank you, Zadkiel, for supporting me to transform my past challenges. There we have. So you're going to release the past. And that's what's good when you do New Year's resolutions. You know, just let the past go. Look forward to, you know, the angels within us, right? The angels within who are here to protect us, like this card is showing. Bringing the love, bringing the light. White light, bright light all around us and within us. Protects us both day and night, okay? So, Archangel Zachiel, he's a powerful archangel as well. To transform from your past challenges. You see, we got the violet and the purple in there. And he's got some kind of vibration of energy it looks like an ancient urn of some kind 
the light right there powerful okay let's keep moving Jesus and here we have Jesus coming through you know as a small child but just know the vibration is the same white eagle oh now I know white eagle has come through before because I you know I love my Native American stuff that's what one of the first things I studied because I live by the Children's Native American Museum and in New York City off Broadway and um, I went in there because we had to walk to school and I went there weekly <laughs> I could have could have lived in that museum I learned so much and I felt it I felt like my soul knew these people you know, the, the Indians I, I, I swear I, I, I thought I was one of them white eagle ancestor spirit connect to your lineage a family wound or pattern can be healed now. There you go. They're just talking about knowing your codes, you know. And even if you were born geographically in one location, you might feel that, you know, like it, when I um, lived by this museum and I would just, you know, see all the beads and the clothing and how they did things. And, and I just knew I was one of them, you know. I believed in my heart, body, mind, and soul. I was one of them, and here we have Ancestor Spirit and White Eagle with the eagle headdress. That's the most powerful eagle medicine feathers, the most powerful feathers you can work with, okay, in Native American wisdom. Okay, well, we'll come back to, but I know he's come through again because I remember his headdress there. All right, and we have Cornucopia. How beautiful. This is a new card to the table as well. Okay. Oh, hold on. We have this one I didn't pick up. Charity. Prayer and contemplation. Connect with heaven. Ask and you shall receive. Isn't that lovely? Now, I think this card, Charity, has come through. I think she's a twin flame to someone. But prayer and contemplation. I believe in the power of prayer, my darlings. Go within. Please take that time of day. Turn off technology. Go within. You know, work with your brow chakra here. Get into that psychic world. You know, your psychic awareness that let them talk to you. Have pen and paper handy. And cornucopia. Look at that. Talking about the bounty of, of Empress Venus. And here we have cornucopia coming through. With a number 11. Is that 11 or is that a 2? 1, 1. Let's figure it out. Brand new to the table beautiful see they want this harvest for us we have a butterfly here you can see the rays also beaming the sun rays father god's sun rays coming the earth it's very genuine and see the native americans knew that you know they were very much earth people earth and i think about them as organic i talk about this you know like the ancient um, egyptians the mayan they were all extraterrestrials being down here to build technology but the native americans even now the primitive tribes of africa those to me are like the organic people you know they didn't have that technology but they knew things of earth okay the earth and that's why we have to tap the earth for air fire water spirit great spirit white eagle is part of that and and let's see what we say here. But let's go to this. And I have my 1111 cards. And we're doing good. Okay. So let's see. Goddess of psychic protection. What you believe you create. No one can harm you. Isn't that wonderful? Brand new to the table. Yes. Okay. I like it. Here we go. Goddess of psychic protection. And I love all the purple and the blues. And like, she's got the fire going. Fire energy. Passion energy. Have that passion within you. What you believe you created. To believe in what you are in your core, you have to have that passion for it. Okay, and I'm not talking from the ego. I'm just, you know that passion comes from within you. And you move forward and you create. Okay, so, let me see the lighting here. You subconsciously believe that someone is energetically trying to cause negativity in your life. Wow. Why did it open up like that? Okay, well, let's see what she's trying to tell us. 
You subconsciously believe that someone is energetically trying to cause negativity in your life, which I'm not taking away from that because, you know, the minute you talk about spiritual awareness or to your family or co-workers or anybody, they're going to, if they don't believe, they'll be cutting you down. Okay, that's true. You have drawn this card today to remind you that the life force or energy at the heart of every living thing is, in essence, love. Each individual soul forms part of a universal soul. All is energetically connected through the light of love. No one can physically harm you, possess you, or influence you unless you believe they can. What you believe you create! Exclamation mark. You do not need to protect yourself from others as much as you need to protect yourself from your own negative beliefs and fears. And that's true. Okay, you know, so many of us say, well, I can't do that. I don't think I can do it. I don't know if I can do it. And then you're already sabotaging yourself, okay? You know, that's why we need to take that time of day in silence so you can just contemplate, introspect, and talk to the beautiful ones and let them send you the messages of love, okay? Learn how to love yourself. You have to learn that. That's mainly you got to love yourself first. To dissolve these beliefs and fears, all you need to do is focus on the light and love within and around you and within and around every living thing. Imagine pure white light surrounding you each and every moment of your life. Now, isn't that beautiful? We talk about the white light, bright light here on this channel because that, that confirms we're spiritual warriors, okay? That we... we <laughs> Do not fear the dark forces. We take them out, right? But it's also sometimes we can put negative thoughts in our mind and and bring ourselves our own, you know, depression. A lot of people go into depression because it's about, you know, oh, I can't do this or woe is me. And, and we can't go there, okay? So let's just read that one one more time. To dissolve these beliefs and fears, all you need to do is focus on the light and love within and around you. And within and around every living thing. Imagine pure white light surrounding you each and every moment of your life. Know you are always protected and forever within God's light. Focus on the image of the goddess whose face appears on this card. Feel the love, the light, and wisdom emanating from her. Know that she merely reflects the infinite love and light wisdom within you. Okay, so definitely. New card and... So just try to take a look at her one more time, okay, to feel that, you know, she knows, this goddess knows within who she is, what she's here to do, and to bring that love and that light. And the white light, bright light is all about that love, okay? It's all about the love factor. So go within, okay? Get, tap that third eye. Talk to the beautiful ones. Well, thank you, goddess of psychic protection. And, you know, that's that's why we call on the beautiful ones, so that we know they're with us, and they're here to protect us, okay? And um, nobody can, the dark ones, you know. And then they go away, you know. If you don't give, if you don't feed, it's like anything. If you don't feed it to them, they go away. They got to eat from somewhere else. They got to suck the life force from someone else. So just let them go, <laughs> right? Okay, now another new card. This is cool. The eternal light of love. So we're talking about the light of love with the um, goddess of psychic protection. And now we have from the oracle of angels, um, the eternal light of love. Okay, so that's wonderful. Two new cards to the table. The eternal light of love permeates everything in existence and fills every atom of our being. This means light and love are always present in every situation regardless of whether we can perceive it or not. There is love and even a hidden blessing with a current situation. Trust. Okay, oh, just one word. Trust. All that is occurring is for your highest good. Look beyond the surface and appearance of things. Okay, so just trust in the beautiful ones. Just trust in your own soul. Why you came here, what... You, what you're here to do to help heal this planet 
heal yourself, heal others. And it's about that light and love, the white light, white love. And you can see the white light and on his brow chakra as well. And then we have this angel protecting also with the light of the sword of love. And the mantra, I trust in the eternal light of love, which stems from my soul and the heart of all creation. I trust in the eternal light and love within every situation I find myself in. I trust in the divine light. And there it is. White light, bright light is, that's divine light, no doubt about it. That comes from the heavens. Okay. And that white light, bright light protects us both day and night. See? And that's how we banish the bane. <laughs> banish all bane in the name of Jesus Christ. Okay. We'll try to close with that mantra at the end. Just let's keep on moving here. All right. That white light, bright light is very powerful. I remember when it came to me and I was, so that came from the Oracle of Angels. Now we're going to come with the Angel Prayer Oracle cards. And here we have Archangel Zachiel. And I thought it was powerful too. I made sure that uh, I wrote it down and I kind of added to it. But I, I, I wake up saying it, that prayer. I go to sleep saying it I dr when I'm driving in the car or when I'm like going to, public places like you know just the grocery store because you, know? <laughs> you never know you know I, I tease about the walmart right all the murderers shop at walmart <laughs> but that's how they bust them too the walmart cameras get them take them out all the time transformation and that's what we want to see boy transformation we've been talking about transformation since for years now right many of us who who work with the spirituality world so that's what we want to do, transform and take it this 2019, just, you know, study Empress Venus Tarot card number three. Creativity is what, three eight, what threes are mainly about, create, create, right? And we were just saying, trust in your creative process there, right? Trust in you. Okay, transformation, Archangel Zadkiel. Thank you, Zatkiel, for supporting me to transform my past challenges. The angels are encouraging you to see that there are many opportunities to transform at this time in your life. You may feel emotional or overwhelmed by your feelings or even angry, but please be assured that this is the process of transformation taking place. Okay, so one more time with that sentence. You may feel emotional or overwhelmed by your feelings or even angry, but please be assured that this is the process of transformation taking place. Your energy is now being stripped of anything that is no longer serving you, and you may feel open and vulnerable. But please know that the angels are looking after your mental, physical, and emotional well-being. Right now you are a caterpillar tucked inside its cocoon, but soon you will be a vibrant, beautiful butterfly. The angels are here to acknowledge the emotional and physical transformations that have taken place in your life. They can see you more clearly now that you have released the old and dusty thoughts, actions, and situations from your life. You are moving to a space where you are more comfortable in your skin than ever. You have transformed yourself physically and emotionally, and this is seen through its strength, excuse me, this is seen through the strength of your very divine and the line spirit. Okay, and that's what we're trying to do, right? Working with that white light to bring it forward and for us to tap that divine hev heaven light. Okay, Archangel Zadkiel. Zadkiel's name means righteousness of God. Okay, see, we learn something every day. Okay, so Zadkiel's name means righteousness of God. He is the angel who brings emotional balance and helps us transmute any negative experience into focus for love and learning. He is the keeper of the violet flame. Okay. I think I knew that one. Okay. So, yes. He is the keeper of the violet flame, a spiritual energy space where we can go to release and surrender anything that is no longer serving us. Raguel and Zachiel are the angels of justice, here to bring balance and harmony. Isn't that beautiful? And look, it's on page 99. Okay, you know how I love those nines, okay? 
99. So bring forward Raguel and Zatkiel to work in balance. They are the angels of justice here to bring balance and harmony. Okay, so that's why we have no fear. We are aligned with the beautiful ones, the angelic realms, those that have walked before as Jesus did, okay? And as also this white eagle ancestor spirit has walked before. Okay, let me see something here. This is, okay, so we want to talk to her with this card. Okay. All right, first we go to White Eagle. Okay, White Eagle, look at Kuan Yin, love her. Yes. People who walk, you know, who would have born 500 years before Jesus, my friends, okay? And he came from royalty, and he just one day, as a young man, probably in, I don't know, teenage years, chose to exit from the palace to go live in a cave, okay? To find the enlightenment and the meaning of why we come here, and, you know, born 500 years before Jesus so you know there's so much to learn wisdom wise on why we come on this planet and at what time so remember embrace your birth codes and where you were born location geographic white eagle ancestor spirit connect to your lineage a family wound or pattern can be healed now white eagle is a Native American shaman who is dedicated to honoring our spiritual heritage he is a world-renowned spiritual guide who has been particularly cherished by mediums all over the world. He first spoke through a medium called Grace Cook in the early 20th century. He is the guide who helps create clear channels in our bloodline and our spiritual lineage so we can access the heart of the Creator, which is Father God, okay? Or Great Spirit in Native American wisdom. They call Father God Great Spirit, okay? He also helps us move into sacred ceremony where we can hold sacred space to honor a change, transition, celebration, or anything else that deserves time. He is wonderful for clearing space and we can call on him for help in forging spiritual connections. Okay, so there we go. You know, I, I believe in saging your home minimum monthly, you know, doing things like that. You can go on now, you know, online, but... It's, it's always good to clear your space because you can have the most beautiful thoughts, but other people, you know, and other people's thoughts can do nasty to us. Um, so just always be clearing. Take that minimum 10 minutes. If you can do half an hour a day to be in your quiet power force source and, and call in the beautiful ones. Okay, so it says here the extended message. Take some time to honor just how far you have come, recognizing through ceremony and ritual the shifts of your awareness. Healing and journey really allows you to move into a state of grace and gratitude. Okay, let me read that sentence one more time. Recognizing through ceremony and ritual the shifts in your awareness. Healing and journey really allows you to move into a state of grace and gratitude, right? And we always have a wake up with an attitude of gratitude, right? That we we're alive and we work with the, you know, we have faith in, in great spirit, Father God. You have or have recently had an opportunity to heal an old family wound or pattern. It is important to connect with your family and spirit so that you can set a new energy of love in place. White Eagle is bringing your ancestors through to you and allowing you to know that they are happy and well. He is sounding his sacred drums to clear your spirit. Okay, very good. All right, thank you, White Eagle. So very powerful shaman here coming to say clearing, and what a perfect time for him to come towards the end of the year to open up the beauty, what we can attain in 2019. 2019 is very positive in that. Literally, um, Empress Venus, you know, planet Venus in the respect, been coming for sure on my table for two years now last year emphatically is when i started like realizing boy she's coming through a lot and this year uh, for those of you who follow my videos you know i'm not making that story up she just came in the last video <laughs> sitting in the middle of the i you know how i picked nine cards and she was right in the center okay so it's 
a good for feeling, it's a good vibration. Okay. Yeah. It's just positive. Positive. Okay, so let's go to charity, prayer, and contemplation. And I truly believe in the power of prayer. That's why I believe we wake up, you know, with no noise and we just you know, you talk to them. It's when well, when you know, I don't think of prayer as, you know, following a prayer from the you know, whether it's the Bible or whatever, I believe it's just you take time to talk to them. I think they like that. I, I really do. Charity. Prayer and contemplation. Connect with heaven. Ask and you shall receive. Faith, hope, and charity are a trinity of archangels who are dedicated to helping us regain our natural traits of kindness, trust, and faith in the highest good. Okay, here we go. Charity is the twin flame of Archangel Samuel. There we go. I know this card came through before and it, and she was a twin flame. Yeah, I, I, I'm going to have to try to do a twin flame union reunion video now that she's come through. Okay, we'll do it with Archangel Samuel. Maybe next week to close down this year. Talk about that twin flame connection, that soulmate that God sends us. Okay. Okay, Charity is the twin flame of Archangel Shamuel. She has a great spirit that encourages us to undertake the spiritual practices of prayer and meditation. Prayer is the way we speak with the divine and meditation is the way we open ourselves to receive the answers we need to hear. There it is. Okay, That's why you have pen and paper, you write down a word, a phrase, whatever comes through. Charity is also the angel who kisses the forehead of all those who pray in support of others. And that's what it is, right? We... That's what this the world card was saying. The success we have to help heal others, heal ourselves, and then help heal others, and kiss them on the forehead, and just feel good that you know this angel does kiss us on our forehead, okay? And 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 pray in support of others. She absolutely loves to see this kindness because it creates an inspirational healing wave of goodwill to the world. And the extended message for Archangel Charity. The powerful Archangel Charity is drawing close to you at this time because she has recognized that you have goodness in your heart and you have put others first. She brings you thanks and support. Move into prayer meditation with regard to any decisions you have to make at this time. You are being guided to take the time to breathe and receive. Know that you will have a real surge of intuition. Perfect. Know that you will have a real surge of intuition when it's time to move forward. Thank the angels for guiding you towards your highest good and welcome charity into this space with you. Beautiful. Okay, we'll try to do this twin flame connection with charity and Archangel Shamiel if I haven't done it already. I don't think I have, but I remember that she did have a twin flame. Okay, and look at this harvest upon us with the cornucopia. This card has never come through before. Let's see, and it is number 11. Okay, see this says 11, right? 11, but this card looks like two, you know, Roman numeral two. See the difference, right? But that's okay. We've got the right card in our hand. Cornucopia, wishes fulfilled. Well, this is lovely, right? Got the white light, bright light coming through. Wishes fulfilled. Okay. All right. Let's start closing it down. Upright. An abundant harvest and great blessings are waiting for you. And you may even find all of your wishes fulfilled. This cornucopia of gifts from the universe can come in the form of financial rich, riches. And we were talking about, you know, the success that you have. Okay. Look at this. This cornucopia of gifts from the universe can come in the form of financial riches job fulfillment, romantic love, or all of the above. And here we have um, Archangel Charity, who's also the twin flame of Archangel Samuel. When you receive the cornucopia upright, you know that you've done important work and it's about to pay off. The seeds you have planted in your energy and in your life are ready to be harvested in some significant ways. Get ready for a great feast of abundant value is being prepared for you now. And Spirit, capital S, Spirit, is applauding all of your effort. How wonderful. You see? 
It's about you and grounding on earth. Okay. And think like that empress. I'm telling you, my friends, how she, how she has attained her value in life and, and respect from others. Okay. That's wonderful. I really like what came through with that. I really did. Okay. And I've got my 1111 cards here. And let's, oh, right in my hand. What is this? Your angelic starry name, starry self, who you are. Your angelic starry name, starry self, who you are. I, you know, la 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 to me is this mermaid of the cosmic realm. <laughs> the raw explorer I wrote here back in the day. I've had this deck a long time. But I, la la la, am a bearer of light. I am an angelic messenger on earth. <laughs> but she flows in the cosmos. She's a mermaid. I've already I've already set her up. Okay. I la 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 am the bearer of light. I'm an angelic messenger on earth. And that's what we are really here to do. You know, have that white light surrounding us. I'll put la 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 here with my charity and great spirit there. Okay, let me turn my head here and pick one more. And um, Okay, and that's what we want. That's what God wants for us to be the messengers of the light and um, understand that we're here for a reason. Star child, seed. I think this card's already come through. I am here from the stars to birth a new planet into light. Look at that. Isn't that lovey? Lovey, lovey, lovey. And that's what, you know, our souls should come from the light, okay? And there's, yeah, there's dark souls too, but we don't concentrate on the evil. Archangel Michael taught me that many moons ago. I am a bearer of light. I am an angelic messenger on earth. I am here from the stars to birth a new planet into light, okay? All right, my darling. So let's close with our, with our mantra. And knowing that here we have what Father God brought forward, baby Jesus, okay? Father God brought forward his only son to bring that light and love towards us, okay? So we'll concentrate and realize that here we have the beautiful Mother Mary, Father Joseph, and Jesus, the Lord of the, Jesus Christ. So white light, bright light all around me and within me. Protects me both day and night. White light, bright light all around me and within me. I banish all being. White light, bright light all around me and within me. Protects me both day and night. White light, bright light all around me and within me. I banish all profane being. In the name of Jesus Christ, beloved Son of Father God, Mother Mary, and His life beloved, the Magdalene Mary. White light, bright light. Okay. Much love to you. Merry Christmas, Happy New Year, and 2019. That's another fabulous year to come. White light, bright light. I love you all. Ciao.